coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer and RV here in Belton, Missouri. Uh, I want to demonstrate and I want to uh, uh, show you a new coach we have in here. It's a fifth wheel. It's a 2017 Riverstone 39 Front K. And this is a really clean unit. I, it's super clean and extremely livable in this thing. So I'm standing in the living room right here behind a huge TV. I've got three sofas here, two that of which will come out and be uh, beds, ceiling fan, lots of lights and windows and door uh, windows that can open up from both sides so you can get a lot of cross breeze into this uh, uh, trailer. Um, again, a, a really nice layout. And I, when I turn around and I switch with you, you're gonna see what I mean. So it's an FK, which means a front kitchen. So as you come into the door on your left here, there's two entries, one here and then one into the bath, uh, bedroom that I'll show you in a minute. But as you come in, you have your control panel right here, which includes um, a whole panel of how to do and everything else about your coach. One button touching to, to do your awnings, lights, levelers, lighting, slides, everything else you need. Uh, generator, front slides, ceiling fan, you name it. Um, this coach is like in almost brand new shape. So as you come down here into the living room, I'm going to go back up there and you're going to see what I mean. Uh, this trailer, I think, lends itself to family, uh, a work environment, but as you look up here, here you have a neat kitchen nook uh, bar if you want to with two chairs and they're fastened in so they're not going to walk on you during the uh, traveling. Um, nice height. And for some people like me that are catholically challenged, I can stand right underneath this vent and I can feel that nice cool air conditioner on my scalp. No comments. Um, but look at this kitchen. I mean, you've got pantry galore, microwave, convection, prep area here with charging capabilities, your own window, more dressers, drawers here, kitchen drawers, dividers for your cooktops for your cooking needs or your utensils. Just a really neat, and they're soft closed doors also, if you notice that. But they're nice, they're deep, solid wood. Another prep area, so if you, again, I could see you setting up a mini course meal where you have some things ready and you put them over here and you wait for the next meal to come up or the next item to come up. But again, more storage space. Some nice accent lights that, again, bring light into the uh, cupboard, which is nice, so you can actually see what you're grabbing. And down below, some other ones that, again, have nice drawers on them, so you're not bending over and reaching in. So I think that's going to help. And those are soft clothes also, if you notice that, so they're not going to come out when the trailer's going down the road. Individual light switches for them. A third prep area, that makes three, same concept with pull-out drawers and a, and a tray that slides out. Control switches for your fantastic fan, which is right over your induction cooktop. And again, another window, so if you didn't have enough ventilation here, you could open up the window and get some ventilation going on there. Lots of storage, my lord, you could hide bodies in here. In your center console, obviously you see a nice sink that I really think is functional where you can move this thing around. You've got two nice size sinks, one that's large enough for like a country or like a country kitchen sink that I think would do some pots and pans and make it easy to clean. Nice lighting directly overhead to make sure you're getting those things clean. And if you're not using the sink, another great prep area, complete with a place for your washing items for your sink and a dishwasher. A little bit smaller than some uh, RV uh, motorized coaches, but still nonetheless efficiently located, nice size, another amenity. So again, to kind of take in this, this view of windows, light, kitchen prep area, um, microwave convection, soft closed doors. I even forgot about the residential fridge. Look at the size of this. I mean, again, an LG fridge, super nice, big freezer down below, ice area. As you come down the steps, 
You have your fuse box right by the steps, which again is right across from your control panel. So again, control wise, everything's really accessible. Fireplace, big TV, like I said, ceiling fan. And as you come back here, again, two sets of shades, blackout and uh, sun. But as you sneak into the shower and bathroom, look at the size of that shower, which includes a nice little uh, bench to sit on and multifaceted uh, head for showering. Lots of light, tall ceiling, recessed sink. I mean, again, a very, very comfortable size bathroom area right in the middle of the coach. So guests could use it. And of course, people from the master bedroom can use it. And speaking of the master bedroom, as you come in here, again, very bright, airy, large. Here's your other outside door. We have closed, but again, if you want to use it as a mudroom, come in here and then come into the coach, you can. Your own fireplace, your own TV, master bedroom, reading lights, and there's also storage down below, which includes some additional folding chairs, your central vac tools, and again, just more storage in general. This coach, this, this trailer like looks brand new, almost smells brand new. Here's your splendid washer and dry, uh, uh, stackable washer and dryer. And you do have storage up above. Obviously you're gonna need a footstool or something or a small ladder, but nonetheless, making use of lots of space here. If you need to go to bed and need a nightcap, at least you have something cool you could drink from your own personalized bedroom fridge. More storage up above with some shelves, maybe the shoes that you wear once a week. Or maybe that's probably where your shoes are gonna go because her shoes are gonna go down here in the uh, closet, which again, um, as you can see, is well lit all the way across as a uh, shoe shelf and wardrobe space that's probably a good three to four feet in length and nicely lit also. And I like the way that again, this is smoked. So it's kind of a mirror, but it's not, but it gives it a nice impression. Uh, again, storage up above, that goes all the way along. And if you look, you've got charging areas for power on both nightstands and controls and even two windows to let in some light to make it, again, nice and airy for sleeping on those mornings and nights. Um, so this is a Riverstone 2017 uh, 39 FK front kitchen. And again, as we turn around, I want you to sweat positions here and you're gonna look all the way forward from the master bedroom, past the bathroom, and again, up to this area. And again, I wish I could measure this, or if, if we had two or three or four people in here, it really is comfortable. You're not gonna get crowded. And uh, storage space outside, there's a huge area of the cargo area underneath the whole front of this coach, of this uh, unit. A generator is out front, but then you have a massive storage area that goes the whole width of the fifth wheel. So um, really nice unit. Strongly recommend that if you're in the market for a fifth wheel, give us a call. We haven't had this one this long. Um, it's got an excellent price on it, excellent condition. Um, give me a call. Again, it's Brian Schumann here at TransWest Truck Trailer and RV in Belton, 816-892-5945 if you're interested. Love to be able to show you this trailer for you. Um, we're open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 5. Give us a call anytime or my email address will be on the link also. Any questions, give me a call, and if nothing else, look me up, and I'll be happy to help you uh, in this need or any other need you have that we have here at uh, Truck Trailer and RV in Belton, Trans West. Safe travels. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me.